Hey guys, if you look up Washington state law, you can't be within 50 feet of a no trespassing sign. Uh, Chris Hansen violated this law by being within 20 feet um, at one point of a no trespassing sign. I talked to uh, the prosecutors in the area and two of them kind of gave me the runaround, but finally I spoke to a really high level up prosecutor and their office and they confirmed that Chris Hansen did in fact break the law and he, if he was prosecuted, would in fact serve 90 days in prison for showing up to my house uh, without... Um, any permission whatsoever to do so and for making my family incredibly um, uncomfortable and scared in their own home. So the reason I called the cops on Hanson was because he was violating the law and the prosecutors in the area confirmed that he did in fact violate the law. If you Google Washington state uh, law, no trespassing signs, uh, you'll find that you cannot be within 50 feet of them. And even in Hanson video, Hanson's videos, you can see some of the no trespassing signs. So the conclusion is, um, once again, Chris Hansen is a criminal. He broke Washington state law. And unfortunately, because the prosecutors are really backed up with domestic violence cases and backed up with numerous other COVID related cases, as well as a number of higher offenses and so forth, they don't have the resources to pursue someone all the way in New York. So essentially, he got away with committing a crime against a Washington state resident after crossing state lines and had the cops called on him for that reason. So in conclusion, uh, Chris Hansen, criminal, uh, confirmed by the local prosecutor. He is a criminal, but they said, unfortunately, they cannot pursue this um, at this time as he does not seem to be a continued threat. But if he is a threat, then I'll have him arrested next time.